We're here with PT, who's now completing her program of therapy. Um, what I'd like you to do is put into your own words what kind of difficulty did you have before? What kind of caused this? Uh, what symptoms did you have? Um, how has your life changed now that you've, you're completing therapy? Um, take it away. Okay, it all started when I went on a cruise to Alaska in July of 2018. I had some seasickness and what I called land seasickness. And for about two months after I returned, I had problems which were diagnosed many different ways to finally a virus. The subsequent March of 2019, the symptoms came back raging. I had terrible headaches, I was very sensitive to light, I was dizzy, I was nauseous, I had trouble with everyday exercises. Work was difficult, driving was almost impossible, um, I had difficulties reading, which is one of my hobbies, and I was on the verge of just a total breakdown because no one could figure out how to make it stop. Um, I consulted with many doctors and then we came to that it was neither an ocular or a neurological event. So Dr. Roth, of course, was my first choice. And we, uh, along with Dr. Sinberg, came up with the diagnosis of mal de Markbund. Uh, which is that my brain did not recalibrate after my cruise. Um, I started vestibular therapy in May of 2019 and also started a vision therapy at the same time. I did about two and a half months of vestibular therapy and have now completed about seven months of vision therapy and Today, at this point, I would say I am 95% symptom free. I do not have the headaches. I am very rarely nauseous or dizzy. Occasional sensitivity to light after a long period of time. But I am like a new person. And I'm very pleased with my progress. Wonderful. What can you tell us about driving, or reading, or doing the things that you normally would do? Um, I, we do do a lot of hiking, and when I was first um, hit with this uh, disease, let's call it, I was unable to hike. Um, I progressed to being able to do very short hikes with hiking sticks and we progress to a point where I don't need to do the hiking sticks anymore. I still do have a fear of heights, but that's unrelated. Um, driving is still challenging at night, um, but driving during the day is fine. Um, reading, I am able to read, again, for long periods of time. You know, sometimes I do have to step away from it and I can watch television, we go listen to music a lot, I was very sensitive to the show type of lights, um, had to wear sunglasses and a hat. Now I am pretty much symptom free when we do go to one of those events. Wonderful. Well, anything else that you'd like to add? I am now the third person in my family to go through vision therapy. Um, our son did, our daughter did, and I am now Topal number three, and it is something that works. It's, it's amazing that vision therapy cured my brain, but it did. Yeah, and it was kind of funny that, that your sister was seeing a doctor in, in, in a different state, who, and your sister also had vision therapy. Yes, and is continuing her vision therapy. Wonderful. Unfortunately, hers, I think, was left too late, and she has some permanent damage, but we are firm believers. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, and it's been a pleasure working with you.